Hello and welcome to either Honors Freshman Grammar Video 3 or Freshman Grammar Video 4. So if you're my Honors class or you're my regular class, if you are looking all, if you are looking for the video on prepositional phrases, you are on the right video. So again, this video is for this video is if you're watching Honors Freshman Grammar Video 3 or if you're watching Freshman Grammar Video 4. Okay, so you guys are on the same video and it's a video on prepositional phrases. Okay, so we've been talking a lot about parts of speech. Now we're going to move on to our last part of speech that we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about prepositions. Okay, so prepositions, simply put, prepositions. So, prep of, so prepositions show the relationship between a noun and another word or phrase in the sentence. So shows the relationship between a noun and another word in the sentence. Okay, I'm going to stand back so that way you can pause and write down that definition. So prepositions basically relates a noun to another word in the sentence. It shows relationship between a noun and another word or phrase in the sentence. Okay, so that, seems, so that definition seems pretty vague. You're probably like, okay, I wrote down the definition, but I'm still not sure what a preposition is. I think another way to think about it is prepositions. Another way that, that you can think about it is relates a noun to another part of the sentence. That's another way to think about it. Prepositions go towards a noun. So prepositions goes towards a noun. Okay, so I'm going to pause right there. So again, these definitions might not make much sense to you, but I think it will make sense once we go through a couple of examples. Okay, so for example, to the store. So let's say let's take the let's take the sentence she goes to the store. Okay, notice to relates goes to store. So to relates goes to store. Okay, relate it's telling you where she's going. It's telling you that she's going to the store. Here's another one. The apple in the tree. Here we have the preposition N. So this is a preposition. And here the preposition N is relating tree, the noun tree, to the word apple. It's telling you where the apple is. It's the apple in the tree. So here, again, it's, it relates tree to the apple. Okay, so when you see a preposition, again, it's relating a noun in the sentence to another part of the sentence. The first example, she goes to the store. To is relating the noun store to go. So it's telling you where she's going. She's going to the store. Same thing with apple and the tree. In, the preposition in, is relating the noun tree to the apple. It's telling you, it's, it's telling you that it's telling you that the apple is where it's in the tree. So it's relating tree to apple. It's telling you where the apple is. Here's another example. Swam across the ocean. Okay, again, you have the preposition across. Across relates ocean to swam. So it's telling you where she swam, she swam across the ocean. So it's relating ocean back to swam. That's the noun that it's relating to another part of the sentence. Here's a box of, prepos of frequently used prepositions. I think you were asked to memorize this in grade school. You're going to want to keep this box as a reference because when you're, look when you're doing parts of speech and you're trying to figure out which part of speech is what, this is a good place to look. Okay, now let's go to prepositional phrases. So in prepositional phrase, it has a preposition 
plus an object of the preposition. Okay, the object of the preposition is a noun that the preposition is relating to. So for example, in the house. Okay, here my preposition is in, but notice that it's going towards the noun house. So the object of the preposition is the noun that the preposition is heading towards. So house is object of the preposition. Okay, it's the noun that comes after the preposition. Same with at the beach. I have the preposition at, and it's going towards the noun beach. Beach is a noun following my preposition, so that's my object of preposition. So my prepositional phrase is the preposition, whatever comes between the preposition, the object of the preposition, and the object of the preposition itself. So this whole thing in the house, so it includes the preposition all the way up to the object of the preposition, is my prepositional phrase. And same with at the beach. This whole thing from the preposition all the way to the object of the preposition is my prepositional phrase. Okay, let's try some examples. The brown dog behind the fence is very excited. I'm just going to, because we've already reviewed parts of speech, I'm just going to pick out the preposition for you. So, like, look here. Behind is relating fence to dog. Okay, it's telling you that the dog is behind the fence. It's showing you the relationship between the noun fence and the word dog. So behind is going to be my preposition, okay, and my and the fence is going to be the object of preposition. So here I'm going to go ahead and label behind us my preposition, the is article, and my and fence is going to be a noun, also known as the object of preposition. And I know it's the object of my prep. Uh, uh, I know it's the object of the preposition because it's the noun following the preposition. So down here, I can label, when it's asking for what, if there's a prepositional phrase, I can say that behind the fence is my prepositional phrase. I can say behind the fence is a prepositional phrase. The rest of this is just review of parts of speech. I want you to finish that problem, and I want you to do the example and practice problems by yourself, and we'll check them when we get to school. God bless you, and have a good day.